everybody wants to be a beast. What do you mean, E.T.? Everybody wants to make their dreams become a reality. There's no one sitting in this room who said, E.T., I want to procrastinate. E.T., I don't want to get it done. E.T., I don't want to get to the next level. E.T., no, every person in this room, not only do you want your dreams to become a reality, you deserve for your dreams to become a reality. So I'm going to build off of yesterday, right? And I realize, E.T., as long as you're average, you're going to get what average people get. Now, as I'm speaking, you're not just hearing the words, but as I'm speaking, you are identifying who am I and why am I at where I am right now. Average. There's some folks in this room. Your dreams are phenomenal. The life that you have for yourself is phenomenal. In your dreams, your bank account is phenomenal. The things that you do, the way that you live, what you have is phenomenal. But you as an individual, you're average. You as an individual, you're good. You as an individual, you're great. And what I'm challenging you to do is to go from average to good, from good to great, and from great to phenomenal. And so I need you to do me a huge favor and keep your dreams phenomenal. Keep your vision phenomenal. Keep it phenomenal. And now I need you to get your weight up. As an individual, I need you to get your schedule up. I need you to get your life up. I need you to get your words up. I need you to get your heart up. I need you to get your action up. I need you to get to a place that every single thing that you do is phenomenal so that the life you want to live, you can actually live that life. Every single person that I've ever come across, I've never heard anybody say, E.T., my goal is to be a loser. E.T., my, my goal is to always come up short. E.T., I've dreamed of being in second place my entire life. E.T., I want to be a failure. E.T., I want to dream it but, but, but not live it. Never met that person before. Everybody wants to be a beast. Everybody wants to be number one. Everybody wants to be the best. Everybody wants to succeed. Everybody wants to have, to be, and do what they feel they've been called to do. The challenge becomes that most of us, when it's time to do what beasts do, we don't do it. Three o'clock in the morning, every day, three o'clock in the morning. And so there's some days when I wake up I just woke up recently and it was 2.45. I looked at the clock and I said, look, between me and you, we got an agreement, it's three o'clock. It's 2.45 right now. I listen to me very close. Technically, technically I have 15 minutes. Technically I have 15 more minutes. I never told the world that I wake up at 2.45, ever. Right, but never, I've never said that I, 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 I make a vow to get up at 2.45. But when I looked at the clock, the clock said 2.45, and the average person in me said, E.T., just pull the covers back over here. It's okay. You got 15 minutes. But the phenomenal in me said, E.T., if you go back to sleep for those 15 minutes, there's no guarantee you're going to get up at 3 o'clock. If you go back to sleep right now, you might wake up and it's 4 o'clock. You might wake up and it's 5 o'clock. You might wake up and it's 6 o'clock. All you have is right now. Are those 15 minutes that sweet that you're gonna push back your dream, that you're gonna push back your goal? Everything you've ever wanted, son, you're right there. And I'm looking at the 245 and I'm saying, E.T., you're so close. You're closer than you've ever been before. You have to do me a favor. Those 15 minutes are not worth the rest of your life. Those 15 minutes are not worth you slipping down the chart. That is not worth it because if you wake up at 3.30, some other kid's getting up at 3 and he's got 30, 30 minutes on you today. So I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you to do me a huge favor. I need you not only to want to be a beast when you leave this place. Huge favor. E.T. is asking you a one thing. When you leave this place, I need you to get in beast mode and stay in beast mode. I need you to put on beast mode. I need you to live in beast mode. Because if you live in beast mode, you'll have what other people don't have. Listen to me very closely. Not only will you have what other people don't have, you'll do what other people can't do.
So you gotta do me a huge favor, guys. Come on and hear me. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. Everybody wants something in life. But many of you in this room right now, your beast mode is idle. Your beast mode is not turned on. And when you leave this place, I'm telling you, your life is going to go to a whole nother level if you can learn to turn that switch on and keep that switch on. going to be so many people that haters so many people that come up against you so many obstacles so many trials so many tribulations and when people ask me et like for real for real e i know you can give me 20 things that you've done to help yourself to become successful but et i just need like one or two can you give me one or two and one of the things i tell people is i outlasted the pain i outlasted the pain when i was sleeping in those abandoned buildings i kept telling myself one day you'll be a homeowner. Every time I walked into that abandoned building, I told myself that this might be your current circumstances, but this will not be how the story ends. All you have to do, E.T., is to survive today. To survive today. When they kicked me out of school, I knew that I would not be a high school dropout for the rest of my life. I knew I gotta get through this one day. And so every single day when I wake up homeless, one day, Every single day when I woke up in that abandoned building, one day, one day is going to be ET's day, but that day can't come if I give up today. So every single day when I woke up, I kept telling myself, today might not be the day, but soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. I turn homelessness into a book. I turn my father not being in my life to a book. I turn an estranged relationship with my mom into a book. I turn being homeless into a book. I turn being a high school dropout into a bestseller. And not only do they sell it in America, they sell it across the world. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? I didn't go to the doctor and get surgery and get a new brain and get a new heart. I didn't pay any money to get it like an upgrade. I didn't get Eric Thomas 5.0. I was the same guy. Then what happened, E? How do you have almost a PhD? How do you have a million, multi-million dollar company? How are you traveling across the world? How are you competing with a Tony Robbins when you come from nothing? One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. I'm tired. I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I want to go to the dealership and buy the best car. I want to move to the nicest neighborhood. I want to fly first class. I want to go to Hawaii. I want to go to Australia. I, want, I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. Will the real Eric Thomas please stand up? Some of you in the room right now, you are where you are. You're giving 60% when you have 120 in you. Why? Because you've never made a decision. You're talented. You just don't want to give up sleep. Pound for pound. Any agent in the room. Pound for pound. Motivational speaker. Pound for pound. Entrepreneur. Pound for pound. Athlete. Pound for pound. pound. Weightlifter. Pound for pound. Whatever you do, I guarantee you when you do it, nobody can do it like you do it. The problem is you don't hardly do it. You love sleep too much. You love that alcohol too much. You love that substance too much. You love that vice too much. There's something that you love more than yourself, than your dreams, than your goals. There's some, somebody called me the other day on an interview, stupid question. E.T., what do you feel like on the days that you don't feel like? I said, ask, ask the question again, please. What do you do on the days that you don't feel like so I'm going to be honest with you, I'm way past that. Every day I feel like, every day I feel like eating. Every day I feel like giving my wife the best life. 
Every day I feel like driving in a nice car. Every day I feel like flying first class. Every, every single day of my life, I feel like giving 120. Every single day. Somebody said yesterday, ET, you gave 120. What you gonna do tomorrow? I said, I don't know. Get 140. I don't know, but I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. I don't have days to waste.